Hey everyone, welcome back to BSTV. Hey guys, I'm Bianca. No messing around right now, special effects are up already. Holy jeez. Yeah, so You're we are talking about part two of the 90 day, before the 90 days, tell all. Probably another best episode for 90 day. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So in my opinion, two stars of the thing right here, Gino. Yep. Gino's awesome. I just love, he gets caught in so many lies and he's just like, nah, 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 nah. Yes. No, no, no. But he's so busted all the time. Like yeah. they have evidence. Yeah. He's a really bad liar. Yeah. I I, I, I said like a five year old. Yeah, I said it's like he's stuck as like an eleven year old and he even looks like his mom dresses him and everything. <laughs> and it's awesome. And like that's his outfit. He refuses to take the hat off, even though other people on the thing were like, Yo, it's okay, you can be bald. You could take your hat now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he wears khakis with that. Like, it's awesome. It, it's literally like his mom dressed him up for school photo day. Yeah. I like, oversized shirt. Probably never wears it. Oh. This is the only time he wore it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's character. And then there's sure. Jasmine beside him. Like, I don't know what's going on with her hair. She looks like Cher. Yeah. yeah. I, I just don't know. Is it a wig? I think it's a wig. It doesn't yeah. look like her real hair because she had extensions in the episodes, so in the season, and that can't be her real hair. It's really full. Yeah, it looks just completely different than what it was. But I think she looks good. Yeah. I like it. Well, she always looks better than Gino. Like, she's right beside yeah, Gino right there. Yeah, she's hot. He's not. <laughs> I love how, like, she will make comments, though, like, Gino, I'm so worried you're going to go back to America. You can have any woman you want in America. Don't cheat on me. Like, yeah, Gino wonder, could not have any woman he wants in America. She, I wonder what she sees about, what does she see in him? Well, eyes? they met on a sugar baby site. No, I know, but what does she see? Like, are we seeing somebody different? She sees an American passport and money. Oh. That's like what 90 Day is built on, mm. is figuring out like, like, it's all about like, oh, this ain't gonna work. Oh, this person's being used. Yeah. Speaking of being used, let's get right into Mike. So, oh my god, like that was so painful to watch. It was totally cringe worthy. Yeah, like everyone just, is every single crying. person. And she's basically said that I don't love you. I don't love you. We're not and dating. I used you for your money. Yeah. And and he's still like, oh please, baby, like stop begging. Yeah. And then she leaves, like she's on video cam. She leaves, and then like he gets mad at everybody else for being mean to her and calling her a gold digger for making her leave. Yeah. And then he's like begging the host, Sha Sean, 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 please, please bring her back. Please. Is there Get anything you could do? Get her back. On oh, her. I need her back. Yeah. And then, and then his friend, his friend's wife who speaks Spanish is speaking to, uh, Jimena and is like, you're a gold digger, blah, blah, blah. He, you won't even try to learn English for him. And then, like 10 minutes later, Mike's like, will you try to learn English for me? Will you try? Like, like that, that's your thought? Like you had no other thoughts about what's going wrong in your relationship, but things other people pointed out, now you're asking her to do those, to put effort in. Like you had no other thoughts of how she could put effort in? Yeah, he's... Um, Never dated anyone ever in his life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a really sad situation, Mike. Sorry. Yeah. Like, you look really weak and you look desperate. I said to you many and... times during the season, like, this relationship is not going to end till Mike is bankrupt. Yeah. She's going to bleed him dry. Yeah. And it's so obvious. Yeah, and he doesn't It's care. so sad. He doesn't care. Yeah. I don't know. But... And then other couples, uh, they didn't really give Ella too much. They gave Ella a bit of time. Really weird. They ask her, have you ever cheated on Johnny another time? She's like, no. They're like, what about your birthday party where you flew a man in? It's like, how do they know this? Yeah, I don't know. Like, are they stalking them? They have cameras on them all the time. Or, or is Ella's storyline so bad and so boring because she never even met Johnny that they're like, hey, give us something that we can kind of make you a little yeah. popular. Yeah, maybe. It's like, always, like, like it's maybe a that was a bit of scripted as well, yeah. right? Reality TV, we know that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they made that up or she just went along with the storyline or. You know? Yeah. And then the Usman one, 
They didn't really talk too much. They talked mm-hmm. a little bit about him talking with Zara on yeah. the phone, but they didn't get too much air well, time. Well, I thought it was weird when uh, Memphis just up and left and left Hamza. I, I'm feeling sick right before her turn to go. Yeah, so shop. so a couple of things there. The only thing I was going to say with Usman, the only good thing was like Usman would have really good comments and like to Mike and be like, Mike, she's using you. Give me money. Yeah. <laughs> and then, anyways, yeah, Memphis and Hamza, they basically had no interview at all because... Hamza doesn't speak a lick of English. Because Memphis saw, like, everyone under the gun, under the spotlight, and she was just like, I'm not feeling well, and left. Mm-hmm. Just left. Yeah. It was so obvious she's probably faking, and she just... Maybe she wasn't feeling good. Maybe it's because she was nervous because it was her turn because she was going to get grilled hard. Yeah, especially about the pregnancy. Yeah, I think it was going to be more about, like, the prenup and how much of a jerk she was. And then people were going to be like, you really expect us to believe you slept at your ex-husband's for four days and you didn't cheat on Hamza? Mm -hmm. Like, there's going to be lots of questions like that because everyone else was getting questioned like that. Like, Ella's whole thing was she flew a guy in, he stayed at her house, and then everyone's like, even Usman's like, a guy flew in to see you and you didn't do anything with him mm-hmm. like you expect us to believe this yeah yeah no yeah. well, and then uh other storyline there was uh ben and mahajani they're dating again yeah apparently but then i think they broke up after that show yeah i think they broke up at the end of the show yeah. kind of yeah and that was really weird like the whole drama between his friend what was her name jessica mm-hmm. that apparently messaged Gino. Gino claims like, she messaged like, we him know first. Gino, though, the real nah, 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 nah. I'm not showing my phone. <laughs> and, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, so Mahogany and her got into a big fight, and then she, Jessica, Ben's friend, just lost it on Ben, saying that he's a really bad friend, and he doesn't tell the truth, and he's, I don't know, whatever other word she used, like, she didn't want to be his friend anymore. I don't know where that all came from. So down. she was upset because... When they were interviewing Mahogany about Jessica, uh, she said, I don't want to say anything that will ruin friendships. And then, like, it's like, oh, they're like, come on. Oh, twist my arm. Okay, well, I heard she's really dramatic. Mm -hmm. So then, obviously, Jessica knows Ben told her she was dramatic and talking behind her back. So that's why she lost it on Ben. Yeah, but, like... It just creates more drama. I yeah, so it was true. She is dramatic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyways, that was... Maybe she also just wants to be part of the 90 Day franchise and had to get her screen time. But she has a husband. Yeah, but you can be like on Pillow Talk or something. Like there's stuff you could do. Um, you could get like your own show okay. if people like you. But that gives it, brings us to more parts of Ben. I just loved Ben was like going full pastor on everybody and just dishing out advice on everybody's relationships, yeah. telling everybody what they need to do. Hey, I'm here for you. Just feel like you need some advice. It's like your relationship was one of the worst on the show. Yeah. You just and then he he had the nerve to like have an interview with TLC at the end and say, I just feel like there's not a lot of strong men on this season. Like the men were really weak and really controlled in their relationships. And it's like, you, your girl didn't even sleep over at your apartment once. She left you. Yeah. You <laughs> chased her time. around the country. She didn't meet you at the airport. She told you not to come. You still went. You begged her to meet you at the airport. She didn't come. Then you drove to her home city, begged her to come to a restaurant. Then she left you high and dry, four hours away from the home city and airport. And you had to take a taxi back. And you're still begging her to be with you. Like, you are captain, not strong man on this season. Mm-hmm. The only strong man on this whole season is Usman. Yeah. He's sure. the only guy who like actually has a backbone and would just be like, hey, you're mad at me? Goodbye. And he'd walk away and then the female would beg him to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's a jerk, but for doing things like that sometimes. But he is the only guy who did not just put his tail between his legs anytime anything happened. And was- actually, Gino a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In an immature, standoffish way, Gino would stand up for himself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everyone else would just be like, you need more money, you need this, what'll make you like me? Yeah. But I, I they have the previews out for next season. Uh, what do you think? I didn't see them. They had, in the tell-alls, oh, every commercial, yeah, yeah, they had yeah, previews yeah, yeah. for the 90 days. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Like, I actually don't think it looks good, but I know it's going to be good. Like, 90 days, always good. You just have to get 
you know, always. hooked into the you, cast. You, yeah, you always you always have a, a connection yeah. with the current cast, so it's yeah. hard to change it up. But. I, I have one hope for this season. Like, one thing that I want. What? I want Binion to have a backbone. Mm. So Binion is a recurring guest. Yeah, with Ari. Yeah, and I cannot stand Ari. She's super whiny and bosses him around. Mm -hmm. And I'm worried because Binion's now in America. He's in a desk, you know, he's not... He's he, at her beck and call. Basically. Yeah, he 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 doesn't have much of a choice. Exactly, he has to do everything she says, and she's gonna boss him around and make him look and so is the mom unmanly. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, but the mom, yeah, the mom's gonna do it for sure. But she does it more in like uh, a principal talking to a student yeah, type yeah, of way. Yeah, she doesn't do it like Ari, where Ari just throws fits and yells at him and makes him yeah, do and it. Yeah, and cries. So, but I like Binion, so I think he's a nice guy, and I hope that. You know, I hope he gets a good edit. Mm -hmm. All right. BSTV, like, subscribe, leave a comment. See ya.